Good afternoon and welcome to Lunch and Learn, presented by Coda Bears. My name is Bill Golis, and I will be the presenter today, covering management and uh, modification of the Epicor tip of the day. The tip of the day in Epicor is a uh, message box that displays on the startup of the program. It is set to default to be on when the, the, uh, the application is set up. And you're probably familiar, here it is right here, the tip of the day. Uh, the tip of the days, I believe there's about 200 and change loaded into the base system. Uh, the majority of them are tips on how to use the software, as you see right here. About the issue of material and reporting labor against a service job, etc. Uh, there are also a handful, probably about a quarter or less of the tips that are quotes from business leaders and visionaries and such, you know, and other quotable quotes. When the tip of the day is displayed for a user, they have an option here, a checkbox to show tips at startup. Or they can uncheck that, and then when they close, that should be saved. Uh, you can look at tips of the day from within the help file on Epicorp under tip of the day. And notice that the box is now not checked. And when this particular user was to start the program again, they would not see tips. I will recheck it so that it shows tips at startup. Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do here is uh, we're going to create a BPM to prevent the users from turning off the tips of the day. If we want to use the tip of the day for a uh, for a corporate communication tool uh, and be able to disseminate information to our our users via the tip of the day, we would like to have it turned on for everyone so that information is presented to everyone. That said, we need to disable that ability of the user to turn off the tip. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that. You can do that through field security, but um, we're going to look at it from a with a BPM today, because it also is going to allow us to display a message box to tell the user that they're not permitted to change uh, that setting in the software. When creating a BPM, one of the first things you need to do is to decide where you are going to fire that BPM and on what business object and method for a, a method uh, directive. Uh, finding that a place to put that at can be a challenge, and a tool that can assist you in that is the tracing. Under Options, Tracing Options, you'll see a, a, that you have a uh, form here that allows you to enable the trace logging, which is what we want to do. So we will enable, and we're going to select Track Changes Only uh, for this example. Whenever we set or reset our tracing options, we want to clear the log so anything extraneous in there from the past will be gone and apply that. And then we're also going to capture the, the location that that log file is being written to. We'll say okay now we should be logging what happens behind the scenes as you execute uh, commands and it's in the application so we're going to go to help and to tip of the day and we're going to deselect uh, the show tips and we're going to say close at that point the trace logging should have captured what the software did behind the scenes when we did that. So and we will go and look at that log file. It's going to paste that right into a run window here. And this is our log file from Epicor, our trace log file. And we're going to go right to the end of it and kind of go backwards so we can uh, see what we think is the method and business object to set up that BPM app. As we scroll up, you see each time you see it shows what 
this object is called and what method right here and we're looking for where something was changed and sure enough the second one up here shows that we're modifying a row here and that the row or column name is disp tips display tips that is on the update a method as we see here and the business object is user file also notice that the business object begins with ICE uh, that shows that it's a system file and not a file for the application all of the application files it will begin with ERP so if it's ICE it's going to be a system file so it's going to be user file update and display tips is our field so and we will go to system management business process management for our bpm and we'll go to method directive maintenance then we need to track down that method and we're going to search here and we're going to search is it product or is it system like i said the product is going to be the erp.bo the ice our system so we're going to look there we're going to go down to our user file which we should find at the bottom of the use and sure enough user file we will search on that and that brings up all the methods associated with that user file if you remember the update is where we want to set this up we'll say okay now we need to determine pre and base or post processing we want it to be pre-processing because we want it to occur before the write to the database and then we need to create a new method here or a new pre-processing you have to give it a name we're going to call it tips display the group we'll assign to is tips and we want to enable this and make it company independent so it's across all companies and once we save that we will design the uh, BPM method directive we'll select design here to bring up our design window and what we want to do here is we want to set a condition first open our conditions we are going to go with a new conditions here in the bottom that brings up a pull down menu and we want to look at a field being changed from one to another so that's going to be our selection there we just specify the field if if you remember this going to be display tips disp tips we scroll down to the d's we should see disk tips we select that as our field that we're going to monitor and we want to look if it's changed not from any value uncheck that from true to display tips to false and the another here is going to be false okay so and when display tips is changed from true to false is the condition and what do we want to do we want to raise an exception so we'll drag that out to here and the exception we'll bring up our design template is going to be just tips and, and we're going to make it an error so that it will not write to the database and then we'll give the users a message users are not permitted to change if tips are displayed okay once we say okay there we need to connect these babies together our start make sure it's connected to the true side and the same thing with the exception we need to make sure it's connected to the true side of the condition otherwise it'll fire when it's false so that should be done we will save that and exit and then we need to save the bpm as well 
let's see if it works then. Once it's saved, if we go back to try to turn those tips off, oh, uh, we had already turned them off, so it will turn them back on. That shouldn't display anything because that's not what we're looking at. We're only looking from true to false. If we go back, back to here, and now we're trying to turn them off, that's going from true to false there on the display tips, and sure enough, it prevents us. And just to make sure that worked right, if we say okay, and go back to our help menu, and we look at tip of the day, it's still checked, so it did work properly. So and now that we have our users set up to not be able to turn off the tips of the day, uh, we are going to create a custom tip and make some others not active. Uh, to, to do that, we're going to look under system setup, system maintenance, to where the tips are managed, system setup. And system maintenance, <clears throat> you'll see in here you have tip of the day. If we bring that up, let's do a search on uh, these tips, and let's see all of them here. So here we got 198. I believe there's a few more. Uh, and we're going to select them all. And we're going to bring them in here. But you notice that there's only a handful that are active. That's because I've already turned off all of the base supplied tips of the day. And I've created a bunch of custom ones that are actually the same uh, message. The reason I did that is when preparing this presentation, I learned that there's a bug within Epicor 10600. And even when you check these to be inactive, they will still display. They're working on fixing that, but the logic is that when they're selected as active, they will display, and when they're not active, they will not display. So, that said, we are going to grab these, and we're going to create a custom one, but we're just going to copy this here, as a matter of fact. Uh, to create a new tip, you just select new. The tip number will default to zero, but that will be populated once we save the tip. We're going to call this particular uh, message a meeting today. And what we're trying to do here is to tell our users when they log on that we have a meeting uh, regarding the software. And you'll see here, that's the verbiage that will come up in the message box. Attention, Epicor users, a mandatory meeting in the lunchroom at 11.30. Please be there. Be there. When we save that, I notice that it will assign it a tip number automatically, and it will default to active. Now, when we log back onto the software, and uh, be advised that this is only an initial startup of the software, so if you do a change user, you won't see the tips of the day. So we're starting up core 10. Once it comes up, we're going to see the tip of the day because we have, uh, or we're forced to, to, to keep it on, and I want to show you where our custom one comes up right here uh the reason i put several in there is so it would be more likely to come up quickly due to the bug it still shows the one that are not active uh, and once this is repaired properly you can you know deselect all of the uh, tips of the day and just have the one active that you want to display that day so that each person who starts up the software will see the same message and you know that everyone who started that day and looked at Epicor has seen the message and that you want them to. Uh, the other thing th that needs to be done is that if users have already set their tips of the day to not display as a system manager, you will need to reset that flag 
to display and then they won't be able to turn it off based on the VPN. And you can do that manually if you want to because we saw where that was. It's within the user file. It's a uh, field called display tips. Uh, or that can also be done using a update tool like the DMT or a SQL update tool where you will do a mass update to select that one bit field which is disk tips and it's on the user file table and you can set those all back to true and then the users will all be seeing the tips and they won't be able to turn them off. As to what's displayed on the tip of the day, you know, whatever particular corporate message that you need for that day or for that week or however long you want it to display can be populated in there. If there's some particular initiative in the company that you want to remind people of each day or a, a specific thing that day, a daily event, whatever you need, you can have that display. I thank you very much for joining us today for Lunch and Learn.